下。I've tested the slime samples. I believe I'll be able to brew an antidote. Good. A pox and an army can prove more ravaging than even their fiercest foe. Your service will be recognized. How? Will I get a toad-shaped medal? The army's not got any medal like that. Geralt? Are you all right? What's that on your face? Long story. <coughs> We're conducting important business. Yous can catch up later. Uh, yes. Right. I'll get to work on the antidote. Shouldn't take long. Tasty number, that medic. Not like a scholar at all. So... Think learned women are ugly as a rule? Well, it's lucky they're brains, because they've not got beauty. Is that right, lads? Oh, aye. Mutts, all of them. Hideous things. Wouldn't touch one with a channel pole. But this lass is different. Exceptional. You're a lucky bastard, with you? We've seen her making eyes at you. Not like she looks at us. Isn't that right? Admit it. You fancy it too, eh? It'd take a blind man to shrug and turn away. Too true. Meantime, you witches have got especially sharp senses. <laughs> Here's the medicine. It's a strong solution, so careful with the dosage. Each patient gets exactly two drops after meals, three times a day. At the most, in three, four days, the infection should recede. I thank you. In Redania's glorious name. Serving the Redanian cause now? I serve individuals. I treat them. That they're Redanians is coincidental. I'd help Nilfgaardians as well were I in a position to. Kedwenis, Adernian, elves, dwarves, halflings, the same. Come on, Geralt. You know me. Aside from the incident in the sewers, we last saw each other. Must have been in Vizima. Yes. Yes. When it was ravaged by the Catriona. Feels like a century ago. Where have you been? What have you been doing since? Well, I left Vizima and returned to Oxenfurt, proceeded to finish my doctorate, and then opened a practice. Shortly thereafter, war broke out, and I was press ganged into the Redanian Medical Corps. So what now? Radovid's dead. But the war's not over yet. The chaos continues. I'm still very much needed. Though, I can't complain. At least I live at home now, and I treat the ill, as is my calling. Though, I must always be ready, for at any time the Redanians might knock with some painfully urgent assignment. Shani. I need your help this time. Mm, I'd guess this wasn't a social call. All right. Tell me what you need. Is it at all related to that mark on your face? Ah, uh, and you must tell me what happened in the sewers. Hmm, where do I start? All right. The monster in the sewers turned out to be a giant toad, and this toad was actually a prince, and Ophiri wanted that. Hmm, and I'm a Kaviri duchess. 
It's the truth, uncolored, I swear. When I killed the Toad, some Ophiri soldiers led by a mage showed up, captured me. Man named Gontaro Dim freed me. Who's this? A mage, a demon, or a djinn? You don't know? He's very powerful. That's all I need to know. He helped me out of a bind. Now he expects me to fulfill some nobleman's wishes in return. First one's to summon the ghost of his brother, then show him the time of his life. Amuse a ghost? How do you intend to do that? Not my chief concern at the moment. Gotta find his grave and summon him first, then we'll see. But that's necromancy. It's extraordinarily risky and involves higher magic. Odim told me how to do it. No sorcerers or necromancy involved. Gave me this. Concoction that summons ghosts. I'll need a sensor too. Well, that can be arranged. They keep one in a storehouse at the Academy. I can fetch it for you. Thanks. Don't mention it. But I still don't like this. Neither do I, but I don't really have any options. Gotta summon that ghost. I understand. Whose ghost is it? Olgierd von Everek's brother. Von Everek? Hmm. In my third year at Oxenfurt, we had to choose an elective. My options were Pearls of Wisdom from the Hierarchs, or Famous Redanian Dynasties. I chose the latter. Here it is. Von Igrid, Von Estiken, Von Everick. Hmm. It says Algird had a brother named Vladimir. He lies in the family crypt near their manor. Thanks. Knew I could count on you. I'm off. The crypt's described as quite a work of art. I'd love to see it. Why don't I bring the sensor? We can meet at the entrance. King Radovid is a stern ruler. You're a just one. In your fields gets done so quickly. How is that? Do you pay your hands for triple?
never seen this side of you. What side is that? How do I put this? Your romantic side? Used to seeing you surrounded by bandages and medicine vials, often covered in blood. Well, that's because you usually come round while I'm at work. Off duty now. Waiting for you, weaving a garland for the wedding. Didn't know you were getting married. Not mine, silly. My friends. This garland's not for me. Speaking of which, would you go with me? Sure, why not? Wonderful. So, it's a date. Remember to bring the sensor? Of course. Some soldiers nearly caught me slipping it into my satchel. Wasn't sure what you needed it for. So I also took a mix of amber, aniseed, and juniper. All rather smoky when lit. Thanks. Might come in handy. Shall we? Let's go. The tome was spot on. This is impressive. Yeah. Too bad it's falling apart. The family hit on hard times. No coin to splurge on such luxuries. Ooh, that looks just a little too creepy for me. Don't have to come if you don't want. Wait here. I like that idea. This is no crypt. It's a full-blown mausoleum. Sure hope so. Should look around. Honoratina, loving wife of Castatis, died in 1257.
votive fire, lit in honor of the dead, old custom. Alexei, age 19, beloved son and brother. Vladimir von Everek, son of Bohumil and Christina. There you are. Now for the ritual. Gotta spread the incense throughout the crypt, every room. Life and death, fire and blood. Arise as a friend, for I am no foe. Arise from the dust, ye whose blood I have brought. Arise as a friend, for I am no foe. Return. And walk midst the living, ye who hath departed. Life and death, fire and blood. Time to light the votive fire. <laughs> 